hello everyone welcome once again to our video tutorial so in this video tutorial today uh, we will show you and guide you how to install after logic webmail Lite php in your uh, existing imap server okay so it's open source uh, you can use it uh, you, uh, it's free to use now uh, first uh, there are prerequisite uh, things that you need to consider uh, first, you need to have an existing IMAP server to install this. And uh, uh, now let's try to install this uh, using uh, Softaculous installer. So let's go now to our cPanel. Here is our demo cPanel. By the way, if uh, you don't know what is cPanel, we have also separate video for that one. You can check that out. We have introduced to you uh, what are those uh, categories inside in your cPanel depending on your hosting that you used. But now uh, we will guide you here uh, how to install the Softaculous uh, Webmail Lite PHP. Okay, so here we need to go down and find the Softaculous app installer. So this is the one and then go to your here on your left side click on webmail light this one and this is the one that we would like to install so there are some uh, prerequisite requirements also on your server on how to install this so we have also separate video for that one. If it's not compatible with your server, then uh, I think you might need to check first the requirements, okay? Because it will give you some error afterwards. So now uh, let's go ahead and click install now. And I will choose uh, subdomain. And I'll just choose also mail here, just for an example. And uh, let's leave it blank for now. Okay. And then uh, we need to copy this one because later on we need to change it. So I'll put a notepad here and then the password also. Okay. Because we need this information later on. And if you can see here, I notice I, I also prepare an email, a demo email, how to uh, so that we can test later on. Okay, so everything we leave it uh, as uh, it is, except that we add some directory here. So I'll put mail, and then I just simply install, and it says downloading the package. And now it says uh, checking the installation. So here, if we click this link, right here, this is the one that we have installed. It's loading for now. So the speed, uh, it may vary from your uh, uh, host. Uh, if your server is private, then you have much more better speed. For this demo presentations, we just used uh, some shared server. So here you have it, okay? Now uh, let's go back here for a while to our cPanel. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our test email actually that we have created this one okay now uh, uh, like what I've said I have prepared an email but before we send email here I will show you uh, some error if you log in this one 
in and then the password uh, let's see let's see sign in so you cannot log in is because there are some settings that we need in the admin so if you uh, if you type on your mail and you put the uh, uh, admin panel on the on your browser so here right now we are on admin panel uh, the difference between the uh, the admin panel and the panel is or, or the mail is uh, hold on I show you some link again so that you can identify the difference let me just uh, open up some um, another tab here so this is the f uh, I would say front end or users end and this is the admin the only thing the difference here is in the user's ends, you have this powered by. Uh, later on, we have separate video how to change this uh, powered by if you want to modify and customize this. So check that one in our previous video. And uh, another difference is you have some language here that you can choose. So if you click Arabic, then it will move to Arabic. So, so it depends, all right? It depends on the language. If you click back to English, just uh, click uh, there for an English option. Uh, now uh, we need to change some settings, so that's why I have copied this admin account here. So we need to log in. Admin account, we have that, and the password. Uh, well, this is just a demo password, so. Just sign in. Oh, sorry, I'm in the front end. Uh, I was in the wrong panel. So here, admin, and then sometimes I get also confused. So click log in, and no thanks. So this is the admin panel of the Webmail Lite PHP. So you can change the password if you want, and. Uh, we leave all the details uh, here as a default uh, because there's one thing that we need to change is this main server so from the mail server we need to uh, click this my web mail and then I just paste some info here that we need to uh, input okay so depending on your uh, IMAP server you need to uh, maybe contact your hosting here but in this case uh, this this is uh, what is my uh, mail server and then uh, no need to change anything except for this IMAP server and this an SMTP server and just click Save now it says settings successfully uploaded we go now in our front end and we will try uh, our account C and the password that we have created and just click sign in There you go. So now you are in on your uh, Webmail Lite PHP front end. Okay, so uh, that is how you do it or how you change it. But here I will we will try to test uh, a new machine. So I just click new and then we'll try it to my our email and then here so this is just up 
test using right main PHP. Okay, so then uh, I click send. Let's see, it says sending here. Now it says your message has been sent. Okay, so let's uh, check here in the sent items. Now it was says sent. Uh, I'll go to my uh, uh, I'll go to our email and I I response an email from there. Now I got it on on I got this email actually. So I tried to response this so that we will show how it works. So let's go back to inbox. here and then uh, you will find some informations of uh, how much quota you have here for your mail so you can see this icon here it's moving uh, this is the one that you can refresh or check your mail so here we have a new inbox we have only one inbox here and uh, you can click uh, always show pictures from the sender and uh, this is my response it's working so yeah so we have successfully installed uh, an afterlogic webmail light php email in our cpanel okay so if you have questions uh, or uh, comments feel free to comment to our youtube channel or if you are new to our channel if you need help uh, you can check our website actually at wedevelops.com uh, so uh, this is just a test uh, mail how you do it uh, but if you have other questions uh, feel free to comment uh, there and uh, likewise if you are new uh, do not forget to follow and subscribe to our channel okay so that is how we do it an installation so I'll click log out here and that's it yeah so check out in our previous video how we change this powered by okay so for now thank you for watching and see you in our next video tutorial. Bye.